It's so hot in this room, I wish I could have the window open, but I can't. It's too loud, way too loud to film a video. I'm back with the second part of Ever After High that I've promised to all of you in the comment section of the previous one. I have collected all these suggestions or all of the requests of the characters that you guys wanted to see, and I have compiled eight of them for us to look at today, starting with CA. Cupid. She's obviously Cupid's daughter and this is what she looks like. Different types of outfits right here. I'll be showing you what I picked for her while at the same time explaining why I picked it based on other images, other reference images. For example, this outfit. Of course, it would be in pink instead of this light blue color. I kind of went with this look because of her headband right here. You can see that a lot of her outfits, a lot of details especially in her outfits are inspired by some of the the Greek mythology, not specifically just Cupid. Hello? Of course, for example, the headband it incorporates this leaves. They're all kind of reminiscent of the looks that you will find in paintings or sculptures that are off the Greek mythology characters or figures. You can especially see that in, for example, this outfit in her shoes. The amount of details in her outfits that incorporate this type of leaf, which I believe is an uh, olive leaf, but I might be wrong about that. General, it's just very commonly used in Greek outfits, traditionally used in mythology. You can see all of these details in her doll versions, as well as some flowers. And here's what she looks like in the Netflix series. I kind of picked a few outfits that, first of all, like the, the wings obviously are incorporated into that, but also the ornamentation on the pieces kind of reminds me of her outfits as well as the bow and arrow. I've also put some like this kind of hairstyle that reminds me of her spring festival kind of look. Also this um, headband and the dress itself, not the hair color. If the hair color was pink, it would be more like Cupid, of course, but the headband is still pretty well matched. Shoes like this, she's got some shoes that look exactly like this, as well as some layering with pink and some petals. I think that this would look really good for this character. Yeah, I put some of the accessories separately. These accessories are obviously very Greek inspired, very inspired by the mythology. This hair, I think that it is a good Good match for her hairstyle as well as these curls. I feel like they would fit her really well. Like big curls, either strawberry hair like this or something like with a little bit of a golden kind of undertone. So this is what I have for Cupid. I would also say that this type of shoes but longer ones and also sometimes maybe with some leaf ornamentation would be also really good. The second character for today is going to be Darling Charming. So she's a very interesting character. She gets like a plot twist, kind of a plot twist at the end. End. not really the end but the end of her story which all of, like a lot of them do but this one is a very interesting one i'm not gonna spoil anything in case somebody hasn't seen the series and in case you really want to see it but some of the things about her character design are first of all she usually wears a tiara she's the sister of the of darian charming and i think dexter charming and the whole point is that um they're kind of like supposed to be like the princes that are like saviors of damsels in distress for her her because she was a girl it was kind of a little bit of a different approach and in her character design in her outfits you can see that there's a lot of armor pieces being involved a lot of things like for example this armor on top of a frilly kind of light blue with pink dress as well as this tiara but it has this feather that's very reminiscent of what knights usually have on their like helmet part of the armor. In her case, the colors are light pink and light blue. And in, in the doll form, it's just pink, but in the show and some illustrations, it's both. I thought that it would be interesting to combine all of this kind of design patterns and experiment with the type of armor slash dress she could be wearing. So for example, this type of armor looking design would be really interesting for her outfits. Like for example, this too, but maybe not the entire outfit, not have the entire dress be this armor, but mostly like for example, this waist and hip, as well as the top with the shoulders and the neck piece on top of something a bit more flowy like this. And also this outfit, itself is already a kind of combination of two. So having this very flowy light blue dress with this piece on the arm that's 
similar to armor. The design of the dress could be looking a little bit like this, but in uh, light pinks and blues, with this part uh, being metal. Incorporation of this type of bodice, similar to a lot of doll designs like this, for example, right here, but have it not in gold, but in silver instead. Here's another outfit that incorporates a little bit of armor with a very feminine dress underneath. I thought that something a little bit see-through to layer would also be nice, like the see-through part of this outfit. Of course, the hair being very blue, I think that a streak of pink could work as well because that's also part of the character design. I've also tried to find something that looks similar to her headdress. It's a little bit difficult, but I found these two. I think this kind of is reminiscent of, let me show you of this piece that she's wearing. And also one of the important things about this is that like I didn't find anything that looked good, but a four leaf clover would be an interesting pattern for her to like incorporate here and there to paint an homage to one of the doll designs quite oftentimes used for this character. And I think it could work if it's done in a proper manner. Okay, so Lizzie Hearts, this is what the doll looks like. Here's um, an illustration and another doll design. What we're seeing here is obviously a lot of red, a lot of black, a lot of playing cards designs being incorporated. I thought that these types of accessories would be really good. This head pieces and this earrings. This could be in combination with belts like these. It looks similar to what she's wearing here. I don't think this is a belt here. I think it's just part of the dress, but it could be created with a belt as well. Patterns like this with different types of embroidery on the clothes. I also thought that her tights, they have hearts and I think that it's a really interesting look but I think that it would be even better if it would be more like this not in this color scheme it could be it's better if it would be black and red hearts but it's just something that looks pretty good in terms of having hearts just like in line to mimic those types of stockings that have line at the back you know she's got a heart purse she could have like a bunch of heart accessories here and there this purse is not like ideal but it's just one of the things to demonstrate what I mean. Also this type of crown and this type of earrings. I also wish that there was like a crown that's kind of like a royal crown, the one that has red material on top, like a little hat. I wish something like that existed without the middle part and I wish there was a picture where someone had hair inside of it so it would be exactly what this character is wearing but I think it's still it's still possible to do in real life having this type of collar that's standing around but I would definitely go with a different color not a gold one but something red black or to pay an homage to exact doll outfit it could be like a pink one having black and red hair obviously it doesn't have to be split in the middle it's just I like this image and then also this type of makeup where she could have this just on one eye to be more accurate to what the character is like but I just enjoy the fact that this image has this type of makeup but has some pearls incorporated as well okay so now on to cedar wood so with cedar wood it's a little bit confusing to figure out what her outfit is because let's just look at this doll for example right so this part of the outfit right here we have a Peter Pan collar we have this short sleeves but then in the middle we have this suspenders that are like H-shaped, which is a very specific type of suspenders that usually everyone kind of associates with Lederhosen, which is like this German outfit that's usually used for Oktoberfest and stuff like that, at least nowadays, uh, where you know your suspenders are kind of going down like this and then they have this line across. And I'm not entirely sure why it was incorporated, maybe because some illustrations of Pinocchio sometimes had those, but it's not particularly accurate in the first place. I don't think it needs to be accurate, but it's really hard to find this type of suspenders for girls where it's not a picture of like a Halloween costume that looks really ugly. So I'm just gonna say that I would find something like that for the character or make something like that for the character, but I don't really have anything in these images that looks good, you know? So another thing to note about this character is also she's obviously wearing a lot of lavender, some orange, some pinks. One of the interesting accessories accessories that she has is this little grasshopper on her head, on her hairband in some situations and sometimes it's just kind of like a hair clip. There's not a lot of them out there that kind of look like this. I kind of picked this one. The issue is 
it's not really it's not really grasshoppers but this is close enough as close as i could get in terms of like showing you some kind of image also tree stumps some kind of jewelry that incorporates that would be good i thought that something like this in terms of the pattern obviously not this resin ashtray <laughs> but this kind of pattern could be created in terms of just making some resin jewelry or something like that just to like get that exact pattern you know to incorporate it in her outfits because it's a little bit difficult to find anything so a lot of stuff would have to be custom made also another thing about this character is obviously the fact that she's got wood pattern on a lot of her clothes but also her skin so i've tried to find different types of garments that have wood patterns and for example this one has wood patterns but i would want this type of material except in lilac color i think that that would look really good for her something like this but the silhouette obviously has nothing to do with the outfit that we're talking about but this pattern is is exactly what I mean when I'm talking about the wood pattern on some lilac material. I also have this dress here as well as a couple of shirts that have this Peter Pan kind of collar as well as this type of shirt that kind of shows you what kind of sleeve I would go for okay yeah so this is what I have got for cedar wood okay let's talk about Sparrow Hood a lot of people requested him and I'm gonna tell you right away I'm not giving him a fedora I'm just that's not gonna happen not in this house look at this illegal behavior yeah so definitely not giving him a fedora because that's gonna happen over my dead body honestly i'm sorry if you like you really like very accurate recreations of characters but there's some things that i'm just not gonna do that includes fedoras and also this facial hair no <laughs> I'm sorry, but just no. So for him, I've put a couple of shoes like this that kind of look like the shoes that he's wearing. He's very much punk kind of aesthetic, but I'm trying to modernize it a little bit, or not modernize it, but make it a little bit more sleek so it fits in within the world a little bit better. I know that he's wearing a fedora because of his dad. I know that there's like a little feather because of his dad, a Robin Hood and stuff like that. I just don't think it's gonna look good. A show where everyone else looks that good and he's just wearing a fedora door like that's not gonna it's not gonna look good this type of thing with like this leather jacket a lot of he could be wearing a lot of jewelry or um, i've also put of course some fingerless gloves a couple of guitars that look similar to the one that he has this one is on the right is obviously a little bit closer to the shape that he has it's just like a v-shaped guitar but i also thought that this one would be interesting too to incorporate also he's got this arrow blade shaped necklace so i thought that something like this would work for him obviously a reference to his dad he's wearing it right here and here you can see it a little bit more clearly here there would have to be some kind of updates to this type of character you can't just dress him exactly the way that he looks in these images just because it's gonna look lame nowadays just the combination of a very like punk rock and fedora thing no fedora <laughs> no fedora in this house okay let's move on to kitty cheshire so she's some of the things that are very specific to this character this is obviously an illustration and this is the doll is the fact that she has this pattern the zigzag pattern incorporated in a lot of her outfits she's obviously wearing a lot of lilac that's basically most of her outfits are just lilac with some black sometimes here there's some teal incorporated into it as well still zigzag patterns all over the place here's her in the series another image one of the things is like this top part with some see-through sleeves going on as well as having this zigzag pattern incorporated into for example her tights the, the same way that it is in the doll form or in the character in the series it would be obviously better if the pattern is also lilac i've found this dress as well with the same pattern i don't even know i don't think it's a dress maybe it's a two-piece i don't like it but the pattern is right if it was in a different color it would be better of course having this type of two pigtails is perfect for her as well as having this type of color of hair so combine this hairstyle with this hair color 
and you would get something that would work really well for her as well as a lot of her jewelry has this cat bells on them I couldn't find anything that looked really good except for collars for cats but that's not how she wears it she's not wearing a choker she's wearing bracelets and she's wearing earrings that have this kind of thing this is obviously not either one of those things it's not really jewelry but if you just cover up the top part if we just zoom in a little and just imagine this is earrings this would be perfect for her and also she's got some bows on her shoes not all of them but in this one that's for spring unsprung collection she's wearing this pair of shoes that has this bow at the front i thought that it would be interesting to incorporate that as well oh yeah blue catnip flowered headdress as well but that's also for spring and sprung so it depends on like what kind of moment is being recreated of course you can just put them into gowns if you're doing like an everyday look but still so let's move on to Faye Bell Thorn with Faye Bell she is a fairy but an evil one there's a lot of branches and stuff like that incorporated into her outfits and in her accessories obviously I've got this hair color lined up for her which is exactly like the colors that she uses except it's not throughout her entire head it's more like on the side there's a few strands of hair that are blue or teal I've put this boots here because they have a lot of branches patterns involved in here which would be a good pair of shoes for her it's not exactly the same as this ones that she wears in the in the show or anything like that and this branch kind of pattern um, i tried to incorporate it into as many dresses as i could or in as many outfits as i could there's a lot of see-through things being layered on top of not see-through things going on so for example this dress kind of has this effect going on with branches there's also this type of mesh type of thing going on like in her everyday outfit you can see it right here you can't really see that it's a mesh here but you can see it in this image this doll image here it looks like it could be sleeves but it's not it's just a, this overthrow kind of thing i've also put a couple of wings that are light blue translucent kind of wings going on as well as this outfit it's not really in her kind of usual color scheme i think that this outfit still fits her because of the layering going on because of the patterns as well maybe the color should be adjusted a little bit to be more fable but i think that silver is still in her wheelhouse considering um some of her winter outfits and stuff like that but considering that this is not a winter outfit i would maybe adjust it a little bit to be more teal or light blue or even a combination of teal and black and some kind of Way. also put this accessory here kind of thorns going all around i think that that would fit her really well as well as this type of outfit where it looks like a bunch of branches that kind of or not branches specifically but vines or some kind of plant is growing around the dress the garment and it looks fitting of an evil fairy yeah so this is what i've put together for Faye bell and the last character for today that i have here for you is justine dancer so here is her illustration and here is her doll what i kind of try to recreate with this is i try to find some yellow dress that has a similar silhouette or at least length going on so i could kind of visually represent what i'm trying to get to some kind of see-through top part that could be layered in the doll you can see that it kind of goes over the dress in the illustration it looks like it's under i went with over the dress because it's a separate piece so of course it's gonna look like it's over the dress it could be either or doesn't really matter it depends more on what would look better with the garments in real life some silver shoes this middle part which is kind of like a corset belt made out of metal there's also obviously some ribbon patterns on the skirt but of course i couldn't find anything with a ribbon pattern like this but it could all be kind of recreated or incorporated in some way so for this character what i found was this type of tiara that kind of mimics the shape of her tiara that she's wearing as well as these hairstyles i found i found a few so for example this one this one and this one which are one <laughs> i think that um all three would look really good they could be for different types of occasions you know or different types of moments a pair of silver shoes i picked a few so for example i picked this one that kind of has this bow on top while at the 
the same time I also wanted to incorporate some shoes that give this sense of a pair of dancer shoes so for example these shoes are definitely inspired by dancer kind of shoes except for the pattern the pattern is not exactly used for it but I think that it would be interesting to play with that as well as for example another pair of silver shoes that has some type of bow or something like that going on except these ones are a little bit too short in terms of the length of the heel I think that all of the Ever After High characters to wear really high heels except for the guys and I think that it's kind of like one of the signature things so I probably wouldn't go with anything that's too low in the heel just because it would look out of place with all the other characters also this is the see-through layering type of piece that I would put over or under the dress depending on the actual dress that would be used for Justine so for example this dress is what I picked I wouldn't like I don't really like it I just couldn't find anything that was this yellow dress that would be short but wouldn't be basically I would just make a custom one because I am not really a fan of the ones that I found but having something on top that would give this corset belt kind of look this is a little bit over the top because it's the entire the entire dress has this kind of silver bodice slash silver I don't even know corset kind of thing going on but it goes from all the way from the top to the bottom so I'm just talking about having something along these lines but in the middle part just like a belt for her it would kind of create this middle part structure but wouldn't be too out of place I think that maybe something similar to what I use for Darlene Charming could work as well depending on what kind of accessories are used and stuff like that. It's one of the most interesting parts about this outfit, so I think it's important to get something for it, not to just skip over it, you know? In any case, these are some of the things that I found for this characters. I might come back with a third part for like, you know, the, the rest of the characters. If you want any of the characters in particular that I haven't covered, leave them in the comments. I will put them in the next video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!